Well, last year we made 400 gallons of syrup and sold 10,000 gallons of sap. So we're right around 600 gallons of syrup. It started as a hobby, and I guess so it's like 12 hours a day, seven days a week out here, but that's just the way that is. Because that you burn, right? Uh, yeah, it's like when it's, you got to make hay when the sun shines, Jim. You know, you ever heard that saying before? You got to make boil sap when, in the springtime when it's there yeah. because you can't let it sit around because it spoils. Because what happens is the sugar in the water creates a bacteria, makes darker syrup, and eats up the sugar. Just that simple. Uh, the, all my lines are come off North Street. I have a uh, tank at Sanderson's, and I have a tank down at my son Chris's house. And all the lines come down into high volume vacuum that doubles the production. There's about 6,000 taps that we produce for. So, so no more buckets. Oh my God. <laughs> my leg, I, I couldn't do it. I, you know, it's just one of those things. If I had nothing else to do, Jim, yes, I could probably do buckets. But it's just, you know, now I started at 5 o'clock this morning checking my tanks. They were running, one of them was running on the ground, one of them was, uh, was full. I had to start collecting, so I had to start collecting sap. And uh, we, I've been at it since. So, oh, I've made over 60 gallons of syrup today, so I've been putting it up in barrels, oh, yeah. putting up in stainless steel barrels. Because it's one of those things, it's a wholesale market. You know, it's, sometimes some stuff you have to wholesale, and you would never put it in stainless steel, plastic containers to wholesale out on a volume. A day like today, I had 6,000 gallons of sap to get rid of today. So I just, this is this is the first day I've ever made 5,000 gallons of sap through, through my sugar. It's like Williams, I'd like to get the extra sap so you keep running all the time. Oh yeah. So even when the sap isn't uh, running, mm -hmm. uh, they can still make syrup. They oh yeah. Back to them, you know? Well, and they'll have bus tours come through and this, Sandy Williams, Williams Sugar House is in the business to make steam. They make steam, it draws the public in because they're right on Route 5 in Old Deerfield. And that's what sells the syrup. One of the biggest m operations we have sits right out there. See that green light through that window? Reverse osmosis. It takes 2% sap that's coming in, like it comes out of the trees, and takes half the water out of it and we're boiling 12% concentrate in the evaporator. What it does is we don't have to burn as much wood because... We never get rid of it in, in, a, in a day, you know, 24 hours. It, it's a, um, it takes this evaporator from making two gallons of syrup an hour to 12 gallons of syrup an hour, pretty much. That's great. Oh, it, it's, abs you know, it's, it's electricity, but you know, it's a machine, it's a, an expensive machine, but you know, it's, Saves a lot of time. Oh my God! And wood, you know. I mean, even if, even if the wood doesn't cost you anything, is you still got to put it on a pallet and process it and get it get it ready to go and get it in here. So. You made a whole barrel of soap. I did. I made a barrel of soap.